How's it going everyone and welcome back to another stupid g uh, <laughs> To another stupid game Obviously you're watching this video because of the title which was my intention Because despite my everlasting appetite to feed the in quotations creator in me I'm kind of forced to degrade my content to, to this You've made it clear by clicking here that you'd rather watch a video about some random internet personality Give their mindless reaction to a shit game about showering with your dad Than do anything else Because YouTube doesn't really offer anything else not anymore. Whether this pleases me or saddens me, I still can't decide. All I'm doing is catering to YouTube's stupid fucking algorithm. The one that decides whether or not I get to pay the bills. This is the dark side of turning a hobby into a profession. It gets tainted by the reality of what it takes to make a living off of it. No longer does it become a passion, but rather a nuisance to what you really wish you could do. Now, I'm not trying to shame anyone for enjoying commentary-esque content, and in many cases, it's executed really fucking well. I'm just expressing my opinion on the reality of how its profitable nature has completely ruined the in quotations, creative platform YouTube used to be. When a channel makes money, so do a lot of other people. The biggest of those being YouTube and their disgusting 45% revenue split. Their algorithm calls for consistency and audience retention, both of which contributing to how many and what type of ads can be utilized to maximize the profits on a creator's video. You ever wonder why YouTube has so many fucking gaming channels? because it encourages the format of how these channels function. Why do you think channels like the Game Grumps, PewDiePie, Markiplier are so goddamn successful? Because they're made to be successful. As soon as it's known a channel is going to be pumping out revenue like grandma cooking dinner for the Christmas family get together, they're nudged into every feed, leaderboard, and recommended content filter they possibly can. Again, I'm not shaming these people for doing what they do. And I'm fucking stoked they get to do what they want for a living. Who wouldn't want to make millions of dollars for doing what you enjoy every day? All I'm saying is treating these people like gods among men only further encourages the feeding of these titans and the subtle neglect of those who could potentially reach that level in a different manner. This is just how the entertainment business works though, as it always has. People constantly praise how revolutionary a platform like YouTube is, but it really does the exact same thing as any other form of entertainment delivery in the past. It utilizes what is relevant, then milks the fuck out of it via the individuals that are most prominent to the viewers. Go ahead, search Five Nights at Freddy's right now, and the first page of results will be littered with Markiplier's videos and their explosive exposure. You probably won't find a video result from anyone with less than 50,000 subscribers for the first 10 pages. So if you've ever wondered why a channel with exceptional talent is significantly less popular than someone who plays video games, it's because the latter makes a lot more money. And YouTube... YouTube loves money. All this being said, no, I will not be changing everything I do. Yes, I will still be uploading videos on a regular basis. And yes, I will be another scummy, cringy game commentator. I do try to mix what I love to do with what needs to be done, but at the end of the day, it won't ever fully satisfy the nagging urge to just invest a week into a stupid machinima because it will only harm my channel and its ability to keep me living under a roof. So if it's ever been a question as to why someone's content gets bland because it's so similar to others, it's because if you stray too far from a specific path, your chance of success flaunters significantly. Creativity does often break through the binary wall of profit, but it will never rival the stability. I do love you guys, and I hope to be there for you as long as I can. There's a lot more to it than the success of a channel. There's the individuals that appreciate what you do. And in the midst of ego, money, and the thirst to be known, many YouTubers will agree that none of these will ever rival the help we've unintentionally provided, and the happiness our content has encouraged. Thank you guys for watching my shit and other nice heartwarming things. C <coughs> Cully out. Wait a minute, I didn't even, I didn't even play the game. <laughs> Basically, it's naked pixelated dudes. There you go. There's an entire three minute video. I just summed up in, uh, in three seconds. Uh, God damn it, what the fuck? <laughs>